how the product like Zoho Books can be used to the best of your capacity to 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 answer to all the challenges that you've actually mentioned in the Zoho meeting webinar on a QA page where you told about data entry is a problem. You have very basic knowledge. You don't understand the details about the program. There are people who say that I'm from QuickBooks. I need to make a migration. People who say that I, my inventory is all messed up together. We are going to answer all that. We are going to consider all those problems. And Amit is going to give us a proper demo of how the application looks like. What are areas that you need to focus on? What are the features that the product has? And after that, I'm going to talk to you about how you can get that software and use it to automate a lot of your business processes. Amit, I am giving uh, the screen to you. I'm, I'm stopping my screen share and I'm muting myself. Thank you, Akash. Good evening, everyone. My voice is clear. Akash, can you just please confirm once? You can speak again. Is it audible? Yes. yes. Fine. So I'm just sharing my screen. Yes, the screen is visible. Oh, fine. So today we are going to see about Zoho Books, that how Zoho Books can help you to, you know, to grow your business that when you are starting up a business and how Zoho Books application, it can help you to maintain your accounting in an easy way. And using that, you can scale up your business. Zoho Books, that is an end-to-end -end cloud based accounting software, streamlines your finances, automate your receivables and payables. Zoho Books also provides you insightful reports. And we are a GST Suvidha provider. So Zoho Books, using Zoho Books, you will be GST compliance. So now we are going to see about some key benefits what Zoho Books offers you. Easy invoicing. If you are using Zoho Books, you know that within a click, in one or two click, you can create your invoices. And again, we are providing you, you know, that the template option. So what the invoice template which you share with your customer, of course, that represent your business, that your company, right? So we are providing you option. You can customize your invoices and you can share with your customer by email or by SMS. Streamline your purchase and receivables. Usually what happened in other accounting applications and all where, you know, you will have to make entry and after that you will have to make the accounting entry. Accounting entry, you will have to post the journals. What Zoho Books offers you, you can just make the entry and according to that accounting entry, journal entry will get posted automatically. You don't have to post the accounting entry separately. GST compliance, as I told you that our company, our company Zoho Corporation, we are a GST Suvidha provider. So using Zoho Books, we are providing you all GST related options in Zoho Books itself. You can file your GST like a pro right within Zoho Books. Get paid faster. So we are also providing you option, you know, that you can connect multiple payment gateway with Zoho Books and you can share it with your customer so they can make you the payment. Not only the payment, you know, you can write the you can raise the recurring invoices from here and it will charge your customer card automatically probably if you know very well right that how we are taking some subscriptions and all and that will automatically charge to our card right so the same feature even you can use in zoho books as well zoho books also provide you option to track inventory so as soon as you purchase your goods it will increase your stock once you create a sales transaction it will automatically reduce your stock and not only this we also provide you you know a reorder point option where you can set the reorder point. So in that case, what will happen? You will not have to open the system and you will have to see that, okay, for which item, how much stock is remain. What software will do? It will automatically send you notification. If you have set, okay, for this item, the reorder point should be 10. Once it is going below that, automatically software will trigger your reminder. Insightful reports. So of course, when we are doing business, we need to analyze where we are. And for that, Zoho Books provide you 50 plus different reports, right from profit and loss to drill down for your tax return filing. So you can just run your report and you can understand your business health, where you are. Client portal option. So usually when we are doing business, you know, uh, your customer, I believe they will also expecting, you know, that we can connect with our uh, supplier in an easy way. So for that, you know, we are providing the client portal option as well. 
online portal, what will happen? You know, we are providing this option for customers and vendor for both customer part. When we are talking, you can provide them client portal option. And after that, whatever the transaction you are raising for them, let it be if you are raising any quotations, if you are getting any order from them and that you are recording in your system or in case if you are raising any invoices, customer can log in there and they will be able to see all the data at one place. Not only the transaction, even they can make the payment using client portal if you are giving them payment gateway option. And after the payment and all, whatever they having, you know, a statement that of course, what the debit credit or when you have raised the transaction, when they have paid to you, the statement also they will be able to see there itself. Not only this, if in case if they want to have a chat with you, so there may be chances if they, you are raising any quotations to them and they want to have a chat discussion with you that, okay, why well, you have charged so and so, or they are looking for some discount and all. So Zoho books also integrate with sales IQ application and you in right within client portal, we are providing you option. Your customer can directly chat it with you. Uh, Zoho books, you know, using Zoho books, what even you can just do whatever you having the expenses or your employees, they are just visiting here and there to bring new businesses and all. So of course they will have some expenses and leave that part. Even a part of this, you will also have some expenses where you are getting some hard copy or soft copy from your vendor to enter them into Zoho books. What you can do, you don't have to enter them manually. You just scan the copy, save in Zoho books. Software will automatically read the data and it will make as an entry. It will make the accounting entry. And our application, when we are talking, we are on cloud. So we are also providing you mobile application. In that case, what happened, whatever you having the data, I mean, accounting entry, which you have posted in your uh, Zoho book system that you can access it from anywhere. Or in case, if you want to create some entry, if, for an example, if you are just, uh, you are in traveling, you are in travel. And that time, if anyone is calling you, they, I want so answer transaction or something like you will have to raise the transaction. Yes, you have internet connection, you have mobile application. From there itself, you can raise the transaction. So now, you know, all this feature we are going to see in the demonstration part that how exactly Zoho Books works. So mainly we are going to focus today, you know, that about the account receivable part, that how we can have our customer, we can raise the quotations and we can collect the payment against invoices and how payables parts and all works. So this is a Zoho Books platform, which I have opened in my screen. And this is the dashboard. This is the first page. It will come on the screen once you sign up for this product. On, dash on dashboard, you will be able to see all your transactions view in a graphical view. You can see here total receivables, total payables, cash flow, income expenses, top expenses. So whatever we are posting entry here, that will get updated automatically here. At any time, if you want to have an idea, okay, from where the values are coming, Yes, you can run this. You can just click on this and you will be able to see the complete list. So mainly we are going to focus, you know, that we will just see that how your transactions or how your accounting entry, you can automate using Zoho Books. In most of the businesses, you know, what happens? Um, we are just focusing to uh, see the details only, to analyze our business only. How much I have to collect from where, how much I have to pay to which vendor I have to pay where the expenses are happening more and all right. And for the accounting entry itself that we are taking much time and moreover than that, there may be chances when we are talking about the startup or it, we can just consider any individual person as well. So it is not something that everyone is coming with, you know, with the accounting background, which know, okay, they know, okay, where I have to do the debit, where I have to do the credit and all right. So our Zoho book software, how we have designed, you just have to make the entry here and the accounting part, Automation part, let it automation when we are talking about uh, there may be chances we have to collect the payment from our customers, we have to pay to our vendor, but just software will take care about this. You don't have to worry about this. It's fine. So, this is the dashboard which we have seen now, and I just show you quickly about the sales part sales and since account receivable, how exactly it works. So, anything related sales, which you can think like, of course, for the sale, you will have some customer to whom you will sell. There may be chances, you know, you will raise quotations to them. Once, they are, once you are sending them quotation, of course, they will accept or reject. There may be some chances of negotiations and all. And once the deal is being finalized, 
you are raising invoices for them you are sending invoices to your customers and you are getting paid for this so the same process it will start here is still what you can do here you will have first option to create your customer master usually probably you know you can just say in some people they say sundry debtors right so yes your sundry debtors you can create it here to create your sundry debtors you just have to click on plus new icon just enter their details like company name display name email phone number gst treatment as well so uh, now uh, usually i believe that few you in this you were just doing the gst filing and all so usually you have seen that what is happening in gst filing uh, we are doing the filing in case if i have just given any wrong gst number about my customer so the software it will not take the data it will keep showing the error that the gst number which you are entering it is wrong okay so this is if one customer or one transaction it is fine yes we can change this right but just consider that if i have raised 100 transaction for that customer or just at least even 10 itself so again i have to make the changes and all that is going to be very tedious at the time of gst filing so as i you know very well that our company zoho corporation we are a gst suvidha provider anything related to gst we are providing you the option we are providing you option you can capture your customer and vendor gst number here and even you can validate it whether the gst number which you have entered is it correct or not related to them or not or even the gst number which you have entered it is active or not there may be chances this can be it may be cancelled right but your customer they have just shared it with you so all these you can validate and then you can update in your customer master of course post that you can raise the keep rising transactions and you can upload on gst portal so like it again we are giving you multiple options in case if you are having any overseas customer to whom you are charging in a different currency of course if i am having any customer from canada i will charge in canada currency if i am having any customer from us i will charge them in usd so we are also providing you option to define their currency in which currency you would like to charge them a part of this whenever we having any customer or vendor deal so that time what happens so usually what happens we are providing them certain time to make the payment so for that what you need to do you don't have to worry that okay i have to say to them or based upon that i need to keep any follow up with them what you can do while creating contact itself you will have option to set the payment term so what usually what should be the default payment term for this customer you can set right here itself and as i told you about the client portal in case if you want to give client portal access to this customer just enable this option your customer he will receive the email notification he can sign up for that and he can see his entire details whatever you are just creating any quotations invoices all gst number and all everything he will be able to see and one clarification i just wanted to give you because multiple people did this think you know that okay if customer want the client portal feature I mean they should also use zoho books so no they don't have to use zoho books and you will not be charged anything additionally for this client portal feature Fine. so similarly you know that you can keep capture other details like their billing address shipping address again here we are giving you option for the contact person you can just capture the details here and you know there may be chances that all the people having different different type of business someone someone is running a school someone is running general stores so like if they're having multiple uh, different type of business and according to business type we would require to capture different type of information related to customer right so for that what we are providing you option you can create your own custom field based upon you know your business flow what is your business flow or what are the information which you required based upon that you can create field and you can capture the data so like it we have seen that we can create our customer master and of course in case if you are migrating from any other application we do have option you know you can directly import the data here so we are also supporting all the transactions later we right, right from the customers banking item master payments everything you will have option to import as well fine so we have created our customer and now we are going to rise quickly quotations to them what we can do for the quotation part we can go into the estimate module we can click on plus new icon select your customer since we have already created our customer we can just select them from the drop down itself you can see here once i have selected the customer their information it is coming automatically right now the quotation number it can be automatically generated and even you can also set your own prefix here 
you can just enter that quotation date. If you want to set the expiry for this offer, of course, you will have option to set the expiry. Now you can, you can associate the salesperson at also. So in case if you want, okay, my customer, he is just confirming this order. So salesperson should get the notification. He should be notified, okay, that he has to work on this part and all. Yes, even this all, everything can be set up within Zoho Box itself. And now here we can just choose the option, I mean that item, goods or services for what we are charging to them. We can just select those items, goods or services here. One on one, we can select from the list. If it is some services which is not being listed here, yes, you will have option. You can type here as well. But in that case, what will happen? You will have to add the SAC code manually. So to avoid this, what you can do? You can just make ready your item master. Let it be your goods or services in the item section itself. Quickly, you know, I just show you one more point here that how you can add your items because uh, for the service sector, it is quite easy. Okay, that whatever we having the services, even we can type with their SSE number. But for the businesses having, you know, the goods, so they will have to track inventory as well. So how we have created our customer in the same way, you know, you can just create your item master as well. So you can click on plus new icon under the item section and you can capture the data, like whether it is goods or services, name, unit also you can just define. We are also providing you options of uh, you know, you can just loop them with the, within the category. So this item is related to which category, even you can also set that. Now you can enter the sales purchase information. What should be the default tax percentage for this? You can set it. And yes, in case if you're tracking inventory for this. So I hope you all aware that inventory tracking in sense, when we are purchasing, it will increase our stock. And when we are selling, it will reduce our stock. So in inventory tracking itself, we are giving you more features. So there may be one item. So just consider if I'm just selling chair. So I don't require, you know, any additional information about chair, right? So I can just go with normal inventory tracking. But in case if I'm selling any electronic item, maybe computer, lap, laptop, mobile phone, ACs. So in that case, you know, each item having same group of item having different, different serial number. So of course, Zoho Books also provide you option to track the serial number. And based upon the serial number, you will be able to track the incoming and outgoing, both the thing at same place. Now just consider a different type of business. Uh, just consider that the uh, business having some uh, item like it, that having that expiry date. Just consider like a, a pharma business or something like it, where they're having the batch number, expiry date and all. So for that, again, we are providing you option to track the item based upon the batch number. Fine. And as I told you, and I, uh, our colleague that Mr. Rakash also told you in the starting that Zoho Books also provide you option to track, you know, your inventory at multiple locations as well. So there may be chances, you know, that you will have shop, go downs, or in case if you're having your businesses, multiple locations, multiple estate at each location for each item, what are the stocks available? Yes, Zoho Books also provide you option to track them. Fine. So we are just going to see that how quickly, you know, that we can just rise the quotations. So in rising the quotations, we just have to enter our customer details. We can enter what are the items and how much quantity rate and all which we are providing. That's it. You can keep adding if you are giving more offers and all. Here you can see the total calculation of the goods, I mean, total calculation of this transaction. What is the subtotal? What is the GST part and all? In case if you want to keep any attachment, if you want to share any attachment with your customer, yes, you can attach and you can just send it to your customer. I can just click on seven send. Zoho Books also provide you option, you know, you can share the data directly from Zoho Books on their email address. And not only on email, even you can send on SMS also by mobile on by SMS, you can send on their mobile number. So this is, you can see that where, you know, the document will get created. And again, I'm just showing you in a, just an estimated I mean, document, which you can see here, the performer invoice has been created, but even you will have option, you know, to customize this as well on your own way. So what we are providing for that, you will have template option here under the quote estimate, whatever the template you require to use, whatever the template you like, you can just choose the same template and using same, you can send it with your customer as well. So we have shared this uh, temp we have shared this quotation with our customer. Now they will have word with us whether they are accepting or rejecting this in that in case if they're having the client portal option, they can accept or reject right from there itself. And what will happen in that case? The status of this uh, cell, 
estimate, it will get converted automatically in Zoho Book system. You don't have to do anything in that. However, in case if they are not using, yes, what you can do, you can mark it whether they are accepting or rejecting this. So both options we are providing here. So, okay, fine. Your customer has confirmed, yes, I'm accepting this order. You can just mark it as accepted. So that it, it has been, the level has been changed as accepted. Now, at this level, if you want to set any uh, reminder for your salesperson or any notification for your salesperson, yes. For that, you know, we are providing you workflow option. So under the automation, this is a workflow rule. So at any type of filter, if you want to have email notification or something internal, you know, changes. And also, for an example, if any customer, they are so and so customer, they are accepting any uh, quotation. So we are providing them uh, more time to pay it if the transaction um, in value is more than 5 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees like it. So this can be automatic using the workflow itself. You can just set the parameter. And again, you will not have to write any code and all for this to handle this. You just have to create the workflow where you can, you know, you can just set this, all the details. So for an example, you can see I have created this one uh, workflow rule here that when I want to trigger some SMS. So for that, I have just mentioned based upon estimate date or expiry date or created it like it, I can just set it. That's it. I have to do this setup only once. And based upon that, software will start sending reminders to me or whatever the email ID, I have just mentioned it here. So now we have just created the quotation and it has been accepted by customer. Now we are just converting same into the invoices. To convert them into invoices, I don't have to enter all this information again manually. I can just click on convert to invoice button. All the information at the invoice page, it will get reflected automatically. You can see all the information, it is coming automatically here. Now. I can just share this transaction seven cent on their email address. That's it. Invoice has been created. And the best thing, you know, that invoice has been created and the accounting entry, the journal part, which we have to post it, it has been posted automatically. You can see here, this is the invoice which has been created and below to this journal has been get posted automatically. You can see the I mean, liability, whatever we are liable, the tax and all which we have to pay my inventory it has been reduced automatically so all the accounting entry will get posted automatically now there may be chances you know you will have certain type of uh customers that they are getting you a set of goods or services from you on a fixed frequency so for that what we are providing you option we are providing you recurring invoice option so what you can do you just set a parameter here that okay who is your customer what are the item goods or services they required and on which frequency they required you just have to set the parameter you can see here every repeat every three months or whatever it is you can just choose it and just save the data that's it what will happen now software will start creating transition what the date you have set up there and yes it will create the transition and it can also share on your customer email address if you are having the customer email address in case if you want that I should receive the, I should create, I mean, software should create the data and I should be notified to validate this. Yes, of course, that is also possible. And in case, you know, that as I told you that we are having integration with payment gateway as well. So if you are using Razorpay payment gateway, so transaction will get created and software will automatically charge your customer card and it will automatically record the payment as well. So it can be automated. So you just have to set one time transaction only one time the parameter and all you can set and you can save it here after that software will start creating transaction it will charge automatically so you don't have to do each entries and all you know each time or each month you have to see okay today how many customers i have to create the recurring transactions and i have to set with them right so again it will just reduce your work so we have seen multiple ways that how we can raise the transactions in easy way now at the time of payment collection so we have raised the transition and of course we have to collect the payment. That is the main purpose, right? That we are doing the business. So for that, you know, very first thing to remind that how, what software can do for you. So for that, you know, what we are providing you option, we are providing you reminder option. So you can just set the reminder. Again, what you need to do, you just set the reminder here and you can choose the option whether to whom you want to remind, whether yourself, your customer or both one. You can set based upon the due date before or after. And again, a part of this also, if you want to uh, set based upon uh, maybe uh, with a different parameter or something like it, yes, it can be set up using the workflow. That can be also done. 
So what software will do now? Software will start sending them reminder that your payment is due or software will start sending reminder to you to notify you. Okay. So again, in this case, you know, your workload will get reduced. You don't have to start the morning and you have to get the list. Okay. That to, to whom, we, from where I have to collect all the payments and all, and you will have to send them email or SMS, something like it. Yes. We are also providing, you know, option to send this reminder by SMS as well. Okay. So software will automatically send this. You don't have to worry about this. And of course, we are providing a report as well. Okay. So under the report, you will be able to see for against which invoice, how much the amount we, which we have to receive, what is the expected payment date and all when we we supposed to receive the invoice, uh, the invoice payment. So everything you will have option to see under the report itself. So fine. Now we have just done the follow up and all with our customer. There may be chances certain customers they have just confirmed you, you know, that when at some expected time that okay, I will just make the payment within so and so date. So what you can do in that case, providing you option to set the expected payment date as well. So you can just set the expected payment date. So software, what it will do now, it will not send them, you know, unwanted reminders since they have already committed the time, right? So again, there may be chances, you know, that you are keep you are sending the uh, uh, reminders. So customer will get frustrated that we have already communicated the time frame where you are just sending the SMS. So you can just set the expected payment date and software will not remind them until that date. After that, of course, you will be reminded that the expected payment date has been crossed and still you have not received the payment. So you can start following up with your customer. Now we have created the transaction and for the collection of payment, we are providing the option of the payment gateway. So what you can do while raising the transaction itself, you can give them the payment gateway option. So as of now, we are supporting easy pay, razor pay to check out PayPal, Paytm, PayU to collect the online payment. While raising transaction, you can share any of one payment gateway with them and they can make you online payment. They can choose debit card, credit card, net banking, wallet and UPI, whatever the mode. And the best thing in this, you know, as soon as they make the payment, you don't have to record the payment in Zoho Book system. Payment will get recorded in Zoho Book system automatically. Invoice status will get changed automatically into the paid status. A part of this, in case if they are making you offline payment, so for that also what we are providing, the very first thing that we are creating a QR code for each invoice with their value. So they can scan and they can make the payment so it will get uh, updated in your bank account or we are providing the banking integration. So what will happen, whatever you have in the bank, you can just link it here. So one declaration here, most of the bank we support but not all the bank, right? So you can just link your bank in here. What software will do? It will start fetching, you know, their banking transaction here. All your banking transaction will fetch here. And in case you have received the payment against any invoices or for against any invoices and all which you have received, it will get reflected here. So just consider this, this 650 rupees I have received against one invoices. You just have to click on this. You can see here software is automatically showing you the best matches that against which invoice you may have received this payment. Now what you need to do? You just have to match the transaction. That's it. What will happen in a single click? Your these feeds will get reconciled as well as payment of this invoice will get recorded. So again, what is happening? We are not doing the banking reconciliation separately and recording of payment of the invoices separately. In a single click, we are handling two tasks in an easy way. And again, it is not something that you can do one on one. You can just select the multiple transactions and you can just do it. So that is also available. And again, before this, you know, it is very tedious if you have, if you don't have the bank integration in our accounting system. So your bank statement will be in your hard copy. And, you know, again, that your business related transition, it is going to be in your accounting system. So it's going to be a tedious task for you to do the banking reconciliation. So now similarly, you know, that we are going to see about the purchase part, that how the actual purchase can be handled in Zoho Works. So very first thing again, that you will have option to create your vendors here. You can create your vendors here, how we have created our customers. Even you know that for vendor as well, we are providing the vendor portal option where vendor can log in and they will be able to see their complete details. More than this, you know that what we are providing option, even you can raise a purchase order to them and they can, this time they can accept or reject whether you know they are providing you the goods or services or not like it, they can give you the confirmation. More than this, what can be happen? So it is not possible, right, that all your vendors, they are going to use Zoho Box. But whatever the application they are using, if they are creating any transaction for you, 
they can upload that transaction copy from this vendor portal itself and you will get notified that your so and so vendor has uploaded the transaction so for an example if i just show you here quickly and this again you know that what will happen this will reduce your manual work so if my one of vendor has uploaded the data i will get notification here that okay so and so vendor has uploaded the data i can click here and i will be able to see what the document he has uploaded here i can see the document here and in case if i am fine with this i can just click on convert to bill that's it so you can see probably all the information how few information it will get reflected here automatically for this again you know we have auto scan feature if you want that once you click on the transaction software will automatically fill the details yes we do have that option for auto scan in the starting when i was talking about that where you can just scan your data and transaction will get posted automatically in zoho book system yes that can be done Oh, fine. So we were just discussing about this. So here you can just uh, enter the details and you can just save the entry. Transaction will get posted in your Soho book system. However, in case if we are just posting it manually, so what will happen? You can just click on plus new icon, enter your vendor details, enter their bill number, just enter the date and enter the goods or services which you are availing from your customer vendor. Now what you need to do, you will have to choose the account here. Okay. So again, what you need to do, if you don't know about the accounting that which account should be get debited, which account should get credited, you don't have to worry about this. You just have to choose the account. Okay. For what purpose I have done the expenses. That's it. Just enter the quantity rate percentage. Here you can see all the calculation will happen automatically. If you want to keep any attachment and all keep the attachment. So at any time, if you want to see what you have received from your vendor, yes, of course you can access it. And now save the transition here. That's it. Again, PDF will get generated and the accounting entry will get posted automatically. Say the journal has been posted automatically. My inventory has been added. My liability has been increased, which I have to pay to my vendor. A part of this, in case if you're raising the purchase order to your vendor, yes, here you will have option to raise the purchase order. You can quickly raise the purchase order here and you can share with, with your vendor on their email address itself. And once they are providing you the goods or services against this, the same purchase order, it can be converted into the purchase bill. You can click on convert to bill option. So all the information of the purchase order, it will get reflect on the purchase bill section. Like same, you can just save the entry, journal will get posted. More than this, you know, for the goods businesses where you are handling with the goods, okay, so there may be chances, you know, that we are receiving the invoice first and goods, it is taking time to be delivered with us. So for that purpose, what we are providing you option, we are providing you a physical copy, physical receiving as well. So here we have option for the receiving. Whenever you are receiving, you know, the physical goods, you can mark it here. You can just record it here. So in your system, you will be able to see what is your accounting stock and what is your physical stock as well. So both option, it is available. So we have just purchased the goods or services from our vendor and now it is a payment time for us. We have to pay to our vendor. So now usually what will happen? We will get the data from uh, accounting system that how much I have to pay to my vendor. Again, all the information or the Excel data I will take and I will upload in my bank. My bank will do the payment. And again, the same entry, I will have to update it manually in so when, uh, any accounting application. So again, it is going to be very tedious task. The same work I can do at one place when I'm using Zoho Works. What you can do for this, we are providing you integration with bank itself. So we are providing integration with ICICI, Standard Chartered, HSBC, and Yes Bank. So in that case, what will happen? You have created the purchase bill. Right top that, you will get option of pay via ICICI, pay via Standard Chartered. So from application itself, you can make payment to your vendor can enter here itself that how much amount you will have to pay, what is the OTP we are receiving, just pay from here itself, payment will get credited, you know, vendor bank account. And the best thing, payment will get regarded of this transaction automatically. As I told you that Zoho Books provide you option that it will automatically fetch the bank feeds itself. So in that case, software already know, so so-and-so -so payment we have done for this vendor. So in that case, uh, banking reconciliation will also automatically happen. You don't have to do any manual work in that case.
and of course whenever we are just creating a purchase bill based upon that journal will get posted and my stock and all it will get increased automatically so this is the sales and purchase mean account receivable and accounts payable process works in zoho books and better and based upon this you know what will happen your gst reports so again gst it is going to be a tedious task still after five years as well still the gst is a tedious task for the filing purpose so based upon the transaction which you are posting here software will automatically calculate your gst liability and all and it will make ready your file about your gst r1 filing 3b filing zoho books also provide the option for 2b reconciliation so we are providing since we are a gst suvidha provider so i just show you here about the gst r1 filing whatever the transaction i have created based upon that automatically you can see b2b export transactions everything's are coming here even if you want a complete bifurcation you can just click on this and now what you need to do just push the data from here push to gstn all information it will get uploaded on government portal you don't have to enter it manually or you don't have to take the json or excel and you will have to update there okay so again it is going to be very easy in case if you are going with zoho books once you you have completed um, when data is uploading on government portal successfully now what what is our task we don't have to go on government portal now in zoho books itself what you can do zoho books in zoho books itself we are providing you option you know to file your gst r1 after pushing you can go into the file or return page and here itself you can enter your otp let it be your evc filing or dsc filing in zoho books itself you can do this com filing complete same for 3b you can just push your data from zoho books itself data will get uploaded on government portal automatically and once the filing has been completed just mark it as file so in that case what is happening in gstr 3b filing we are doing the offset my liability we are reducing with our itc or bank payment so those entry again you will not have to post in zoho books manually you just mark it as file software will automatically pull the data what is uploaded on government portal whatever the payment and all which we have done there and it will post as a journal debit credit entry software will automatically post it and again the people who doesn't have accounting knowledge so again when you are using zoho books it is not something that you should know about that okay which account i have to debit which account i have to credit you just have to post the simple entry software will automatically do the debit credit entry more than this you know even we are providing you a e invoicing option as well so if your company turnover is more than uh, 20 crore for now and again now uh, from october 1 I mean, government has just rule for 10 crore as well. So the company having more than 10 crore of turnover, so they are liable to you know push their invoices on IRP portal. So we are also providing you option you know about the e invoicing. So you can just connect e invoicing uh, credentials here in Zoho Books itself, and after rising transaction, right within Zoho Books itself, you know you can generate your IRN QR code everything. we are also providing you eweable option in zoho books itself you can after creating your transaction you can raise their eweable from zoho books itself you can raise their eweable that is also possible so all the data all the, you know that work which you have to do for the gst related you can do right within zoho books again you will not have to go on for gst filing gst portal eweable filing eweable portal for iron generation on irp portal not like it you just have to handle all your task multiple task in a single application that is zoho books and based upon these transactions of course your entries so when we are just doing businesses and all we are just doing sales and purchase and all so we should analyze our business where we are so for that we are providing you 50 plus different reports right from profit and loss you can just run your report here you can see your horizontal balance sheet where you can see this is the indian you can say that indian specialist i um, mean uh you know report this is horizontal balance sheet however a part of this you know we are providing the vertical balance sheet as well where you can see from a start asset liability everything at one place and these what the values and all which you are seeing here so these all are not only number even you can just click on this you know and you will be able to see that from where the values are coming so from the complete view you are getting and even you can go till drill down till the last transition from where the values are coming now again we are doing the businesses in case if you have to you know submit your report uh, to your i mean admin or your a uh, superior each day daily basis something like it so again it is not required that okay each day you know that you will have to take the data backup or the excel file and you have to send them email what we are providing we are providing you option to schedule the report so just to schedule the report just mention to whom you want to notify this software will end of the day or end of the week 
software will automatically prepare the report and it will send to the respective person. So everything can be automated using this way. A part of this, again, we have the branching option as well. So in case if you are just growing, if you are growing up your businesses, if you are expanding your business from one to different locations, right? You are standing uh, in Delhi, Chennai, Kolkata, multiple locations you will have. So how we can manage our Zoho books? How we can manage our books? So for that, we are providing you branching option. So you can create your multiple branches, whatever you will have in a single Zoho books organization. And while rising the transition, you can choose this transition is being created for which uh, which location. And based upon that, you know, you can get the report. So of course, entries are available here. So you will have option to get the consolidated report or in case if you want a, some specific location report, that is also possible. So for that, we are providing you option to make the filter. You can just make the filter for which location you want to have this report and you can run and you can see the transactions. And as I told you, so there may be, you know, that multiple business having multiple requirement. So to achieve that, we are providing you automation option. So in the automation, we have the custom function option as well, where we can, you know, we can just place some script. So for an example, if I am in e-commerce business, I know very well that whatever the payment I will receive from my customer, okay, I will have to keep certain amount with me and the remain, remain amount I have to pass to my vendor. So how to pass to my vendor for that, of course, we should have the payable entry. So what you can do, what we can do in this case, we can just write a script and we can set in your organization. So as soon as you will create a sale entry, based upon that, automatically the purchase entry will get recreated. You don't have to again create the multiple entry that, okay, first I'm creating for what is my receivable and again I'm creating for what is my payable. Software will automatically do this. Okay. A part of this, we are also providing you user and roles option. So the company having multiple users, right? So you, you should provide them access as well. So they, uh, all people, they should do their task, right? So we are providing you option. You can create their roles. You can define the role that what uh, exit they should have or what the data they should access this, okay? And you can invite with their email address. And once they will log in for Zoho Books, they will be able to see what you have provided them access. Now, of course, so there are multiple people. They are working on a single organization, in a single company, Zoho Book. So what will happen if anyone has deleted the data or if anyone has just updated the data? So how we can identify this? And of course, you know that government um, and government of India, they have just made it mandatory uh, from this financial year that each accounting application should have, you know, uh, audit trial that complete logs. So it was already available with Zoho Books from the starting. So we are providing you this option as well. You can see here the activity log, whatever the transactions and all which have been posted here. You can just see here which user has been which user has created at what time they have created and even you can compare this that what are the changes has been done so software will automatically show you at the same place so oh, i hope that i have just given you a better overview about the zoho books uh, i will not take much time because i think that we have just promised uh, kept this for 5 to 6 30 and it's already 6 30 so quickly, you know, that we will just take your question I and mean, we'll, we will go for the question answer session and we will try to cover more your queries. So Akash, it's over to you. Thank you, Amit. Uh, that was super, super helpful. And I'm sure that people here would have got an overview about just giving. Akash, we are unable to hear you. Akash, can you hear me?
Akash, you've muted yourself, Akash. I'm so sorry to disturb here. Akash, are you able to hear me? Um, hello everyone, is anyone able to hear me? Can you please uh, reply in the Q&A uh, section if you are able to hear me? Oh God, oh God, I'm so sorry. Hi Akash, are you able to hear was me? Yeah, for the entire oh, time. Okay. I, I'm so sorry everyone. Uh, I, I understand that I was on mute. I'm just going to touch upon the very important detail here and that is startups can avail, startup credits worth 1,86,000 and that is valid for 360 days, which means it is available for you for an entire year. And then the credits that has been offered to you cannot be split or shared between the account. It is exclusively for your account. And then you cannot request for a refund for the credits. When the purchase is made, you cannot ask for a uh, refund or anything. For any product related queries, you can write to support at zohoforstartups.com. 
If you have product related queries, something related to Zoho Books or something, you can write to support at zohoforstartups.com. If you have queries about the program that we have in place, the Zoho for Startups program, about how the wallet credit is, how to apply for this program, you can write it from info at zohoforstartups.com. And we are available on Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and in every other platform. You can follow us and you can also talk about, your, if you have questions, you can reach out to us using this email ID. And we are always available to answer your questions. Let me quickly take you to the Zoho for Startups webpage. It's quite simple, zoho.com slash startups. It is that simple. You don't. There's no complicated URL here. It's that simple. It talks about, uh, is my screen visible to everyone? Is my screen visible? Screen is visible, Akash, but I'm not able to see anything here. Uh, I'm just seeing your meeting screen. Uh, is that visible, Tina, now? Is it... Your meeting screen is visible, Akash, uh, but uh, if it's showing some other uh, web page, that is not visible. Okay. Correct, correct. I got it, got it. Is it fine now? Yes, Akash, it's visible now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to quickly help you understand it. Zoho.com slash startups. There you go. And you have the startup page. It talks about what work we do, how we are obsessed about empowering startups across the country. If you are a startup entrepreneur, you can directly apply for credits from the web page. And it talks about the program benefits. This is exactly what we touched upon a few minutes back available services what is a free consultation say that you have questions about zoho there are so many applications you don't know how to go about which applications to pick etc you can go for a consultation and they will help you pick the right software for your business based on your business requirement and you can read more about what we do what is the stages in which wallet credits will be offered what are the things that you need to be aware of and the most important part of it i'm sure you have a lot of questions now Trust me, everything should actually reflect in the frequently asked questions because we know the bunch of questions that we keep getting on email. We have gathered all that and we have put it as a knowledge transfer document and made it very interactive and we call it the frequently asked question. So whatever you have questions in terms of that, it should be available in the FAQs. And we have broadly segmented the FAQ so that it's easy for you to navigate and pick the right question based on what, uh, which segment of the program are you talking about. So. These are uh, the details that I would want you to be aware of so that you can uh, go and apply for it. And this needs to be a very effortless process for you. And we want to keep it very simple and easy for you to access and claim credits uh, overall. So that was uh, uh, from my side. So this is what we have as a process now. You know about the products that we do. You also know about the program that we have in place and what startups can do using the credits that we offer. We are opening up for a Q&A session. We'll, we'll have a, a quick Q&A session. We'll have answer your questions now. I, I understand that Sanchit Agrawal has raised his hand and I'm going to uh, enable the mic for him so that he can share his ideas and thoughts or if he has any questions. Hi, Sanchit. I think you should be able to speak now. And if uh, anyone would like to ask any questions, please feel free to raise your hands. We're definitely going to address that. Akash, you are not audible to me. Hello, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. I can listen to you. Am I not audible? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Oh. So, Akash, I just wanted to have a few questions which I've already posted. Okay. Uh, uh, so, for example, I'm a, I'm into D2C business of uh, organic products, right? So okay. when I was setting up certain products and I started with inventory, so certain times what happens is we have a raw material and we do also do processing of that raw material, right? So how to account for this uh, in Zoho books? That is, and there are a few more challenges which are there. I I think the call will be uh, not enough to, like the time will not be enough so how right. can we reach to a particular person who can guide us uh, you know or guide my team member to set up the zoho books as per my uh, you know requirement 
Definitely, Sanchita, I understand. Before I ask Amit for some more inputs on this, how have you set up your D2C website? What What is the tool that you've used here? Zoho Commerce. Uh, so I have Zoho Credits and all. Uh, so okay. okay, now I, integrating I it Zoho with Credits books for is the startups. No, no. Okay. As of now, we started with Zoho Books first. Zoho Commerce okay. is yet to be developed. Okay. Uh, but there are many things. Like, for example, uh, one, one problem which we face was let's say i have a raw material i also use this raw like this item as a raw material to some secondary item right now both my oh. items are listed on my zoho commerce should be available right now okay. internally on batches i take you know i uh, take you know part of my one item one and i process it to item two right so that is yeah. one thing similarly let's say item one again i package it into different you know sizes Okay. Uh, like, you know, okay. uh, small, medium, and that kind of sizes. So how mm -hmm. to update and automatically update the inventory? So I I can't say whether my uh, consumer will order a, you know a smaller pack or a medium pack. That happened. That decision happens dynamically. But my inventory should be automatically updated accordingly. Right? You are getting. Let's say. Let's say right. I have a particular item. Uh, let's say I have hundred kg of that item. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I want my consumer. To either order, let's say one kg pack of it or five kg pack of it, right? I don't want to share. I don't want to create two item of one kg and five kg, and you know, divide my inventory of you know my item among that uh, uh, thing, right? Because that will disbalance this. Uh, this decision of packaging happens on the fly as per the consumer request. So how to handle that? Uh, then there are certain more questions which are there. I have already posted them. But there are a lot. Yeah, there are a lot of questions which keep on emerging when we set up the books. So, how to go about it? What is the support system which is had? Because so far, when I reached to uh, the customer care, I was not able to get the kind of support I was looking for. I understand. I understand, Sanchit. Because I do. Uh, from your question, I understand that this is broadly about how the item and categorization needs to be structured within the inventory so that you yeah. can. Uh, you know, uh, realize the requirement that you just described to me right now. Uh, if you if you say if I'm going to even ask Amit, you have any inputs to share about this, or you feel that uh, we can have a call with our team? Uh, so, Mr. Sanchit, am I audible? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, So, yes, you know, uh, we do have. We are also providing you options. So, we have composite item option. Okay. So where you know that you can create a bundle. So as you said that you're having for the same item with a different type of packages and all. So yes, we are also providing you composite item concepts there. So you can just set based upon that what are the item will get involved in that and what the packages will get created. Yes, it uh, can be handled in that way. So you are purchasing, let it let it be at any type of item which you are just purchasing. And while selling, when you are processing and you are creating as a bundle, yes, it can be done using. No, no. so so Amit, Amit, I think you uh, didn't get my question. This, in case we are just talking about any other feature, okay, any other feature, and as you said that you having uh, more queries regarding to set up a few other things and all. Uh, definitely, you know that uh, probably we can have a call uh, offline. I mean, after this, not exactly today itself. And I believe that in next week we can set a call. We can get your all the requirements with whatever the setup and all which you require. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can provide you that. Amit, uh, am I audible? Uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, the I know about the bundling thing of uh, Zoho com, com, like Zoho inventory composite items and all, but that is not uh, you know fulfilling requirement which I have. When I also integrate that with Zoho Commerce. So maybe if you can just share your credentials and you know like your contact details so we can set up a call or maybe anyone from the support team who can help me with this. Right. Yeah definitely will... yeah so yeah so I think uh, Akash we will have their contact details right. Yes 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 I have Sanchit. Sanchit uh, could you uh, remind me the name of your uh, it might it might be with my name Sanchit Agarwal or my company name Thaina. Could you say the email? Sanchit, can you just search with Sanchit in my uh, email? Sanchit Agarwal. Just can you search with that Sanchit Agarwal? Okay, sure. Sure, Sanchit. I'll I will I've noted the name. Fine. So Sanchit as uh we are just discussing. Yes, uh we will have a call next week. Okay, we can and, get your requirement. Uh, anyway, let yeah. it be uh using the composite item or any different feature. Yes, we will just try to implement this, okay. Okay, thank you, Amit. Looking forward for it. So, I uh, you will guys you you will be dropping me the mail for the 
particular meeting or uh, like uh, yeah yeah uh, of course yes absolutely you know so we will have a word with first of all with our team that okay we can have the check whether uh, what are the team required who will be available okay and accordingly yeah. you know in next week because you know very well i believe that okay we are not working on uh, saturday sunday and it's already friday no in, okay yes so no monday we will just have a discussion amit i have also dropped i i have also dropped a linkedin request to both of you amit and uh, uh, akash okay, and okay. Uh, probably if you don't find my email id on your this thing you can just drop me a message and there sure okay. sure sure sanjit definitely uh, definitely definitely sanjit i understand that you already have talked about this to book support am i correct uh, i i like it, it it was a conversation which happened like three four months back uh, okay. with the zoho support team or okay. with the okay. zoho books team it was a generally not with zoho support team, team. Uh, generally okay. it's a support number which was there in your zoho one you know website so i just called them and they okay. talked about the same composite thing but the composite thing is not you know uh, fulfilling the uh, requirement which we have and that's why we are a bit stuck uh, utilizing zoho books no and so no worries, no worries, at least i know where you need to meet or which, which team would need your email id i'll make sure that the right people reach out to you at least by monday an email gets started which will translate into a call sure thank you for that akash thank you sanjit so uh, ram himal nupur shreya sushmita let us know if you have questions or you can raise your hand and uh, we will be able to uh, share our inputs on if you have questions we are, we are all happy to share uh, answers to the same if at all we can okay hey mal i'm just going to unmute you so that you can uh, ask your question well we have amit vasas as well and tina is also there also yeah hey mal you should be able to speak yeah, okay so uh, akash it's related to uh, so we are using uh, two types of discount model in invoice how it's it's one invoice type uh, the discount model is that uh, it's it's 5% 5% only product uh, whatever the products we are selecting but the moment it crosses the turnover of 1 lakh of rupees then additional 2.5% should be added the second discount so right now we are if we have one uh, discount part okay so we can take it line item wise as well as we can take it uh, direct voucher wise we have that option available but what if let's say 5% is taken first of all and then at the end of the invoice i came to know that it is right now i am not talking about the automation that it will calculate by default that it now it crossed uh, 1 lakh and now i want to add automatically added the 2.5% i am not talking about that particular aspect i will do it manually as of now if it is crossing 1 lakh of rupees 2.5% i want to add additional uh, discount and this 2.5% additional discount i want to see in my pnl as an additional discount and not to be merged in that 5% wala discount are you getting my point uh yes i i i, I am understanding yes what your requirement okay so uh right now uh, i i am exploring that particular thing why uh, what you can say a price list okay, let's say that if i am having uh, my uh, item let's say i am having price of uh, 50 rupees of particular product i am setting up the price list then price list will give me 5% discount 10% discount 15% discount by default it will directly fetch my that particular price let's say 100 rupees price and by default uh, this particular client i will use 5% discount price list so it will give me 95% correct right and uh, right. the below when it is crossing 1 lakh i need i am right now doing it manually i want to do it manually as of now okay it crossed 1 lakh of rupees now i want to give 2.5% discount but if i am doing this way then i will have only one discount in my pnl reflection i will i will not see that 100 rupees the 5 rupees discount so mis perspective that cfo and the uh, few uh, sales team uh, uh, the bdm they want this report that we want expressly we want to see that 5% discount and 2.5% additional discount 
so uh, uh, it is not showing if i am using price list price list will give me that okay you are directly selling by 95 rupees you are not selling 100 minus 5 yes so 5% is yeah, yeah, I understand what's your requirement. So in the single invoices, in case if it is crossing the certain uh, amount of the transaction, you want to apply two type of discount and you want to tag them separately in different, different account. Correct. So yes. at least you will yes. be in the profit and loss report. So, right. you know, we uh, recently that we have started working for this. Okay. So we have started working for multiple discount. So okay. multiple discount line item as well as on the transaction level. As of now, what we are providing that either you can apply the discount or line item or on overall basis. Correct. Right. Right. So we, are right. On, so we are working on this and I believe that this is ready. Uh, this is available for the testing purpose in local for the quotation. Okay. For the estimate uh, part, it is available as of now. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It is not available for all the customer, but yes, we are working on that. So I believe, you know, uh, that soon we will just release this feature. In that case, you will be able to apply the multiple discount when we are talking about, you know, to differentiate them in one to different one. When I'm applying the 5% discount, it should be get tracked in a different account. And when I'm applying 2.5% discount, it should get tracked in a different account. So this can be, you know, this can be using the custom function. So I was just talking about the automation. Okay, so uh, coming back to the first point, as you are saying that right now you you already are working on this particular aspect. So can you can you share that kind of thing as an early access on a special request to us? Yeah, like yeah definitely. Yes, yes, definitely. If we can see, okay, so few feature you know which is available for early access, even we can share it with customer as well. So just let okay. me check the conditions on which level we are for that feature. Okay. So based upon that, you know, that probably, yes, we can contact you in next week and we can provide you the details whether we can uh, enable it for your organization. Okay. Okay. So because as you are saying, the second option of custom function, see, uh, I, I got your point that we can do some kind of uh, that custom function, but uh, you also uh, uh, will agree with me that if we are having plan vanilla the software based the configurational based why to go for custom function and everything so uh, 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 my first priority is to get it done uh, by default feature and if you are saying, saying something about early access kind of things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i don't want to go for the custom function one of these, uh, if i can set it up yes I, I got your point if i want to set by default okay if turnover yes. is crossing one leg by default okay custom function greater than this amount uh please apply second discount greater than this amount please apply third discount no, i'm not talking third discount but the rate of a discount will get changed mm -hmm. so but i'm not talking about custom function i'm purely talking about uh, the simple yeah, yeah. I'm, no no so custom function i'm saying you know for to track them in a different different account so five percent it will tra uh, get tracked in a different account and 2.5 percent which you have applied it will get tracked in a different account so okay, okay. okay 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 Okay, so uh, it would be great if you can share this uh, feature. It will uh, relieve my pressure from the, uh, the sales team and the uh, you know CFO. They want this information. Uh, uh, they are behind us uh, since last a couple of uh, weeks. Please get it done. Please get it done. Uh, definitely, definitely. I will have a word with our development teams regarding this. Okay, if we can provide this anyway, we will just uh, communicate you uh, for this purpose. Okay. So user access, uh, uh, early access, you, you can provide if, if it is available, then you can use the early access for this. Yes, yes, yes. If it is available for customer early access, yes, we can enable it for your organization. Okay, okay. So uh, how can uh, uh, you can, how can you confirm? Yeah, I have just mentioned your name. Okay, again, uh, I hope that while registration, you have given your contact details, right? Yes. So yes, we will you. just get the details from there and we will contact you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hamal. Uh, you have noted your name. Uh, Amit has noted down your name. So Monday we will see how we can look into Hamal's as well as Sanchit's query. Uh, Nupo, Ram, and Shreya. Uh, uh, let me. I, hello, Kashi. Yeah. I have one more query. Uh, yes. So yeah. let let say let say you know. Uh, so at times in our organization, we take advances from our customers, right? And then we, you know, uh, track their, uh, you know, orders, right? And then debit it just from their account, right? So how to, like, is there a feature to do that in uh, books, like um, advance uh, taken by the customer and then debiting it, uh, you know, uh, on each order? 
Uh, Sanjit, could you please repeat this? The year requirement. Yeah. yeah. For example, I have a client. I asked him to pay me for the entire, you know, some three months, four months, and okay. then based on the orders, uh -huh. we debit from the credit which we have already received from the customer. Right. So is that Uh, debit and credit. I'm not getting exactly that. What mean you have just getting the order for three months? That's fine. After that. So once I got the advance, then let's say my my client order something, right? Then okay, obviously that that much payment has to be deducted from the correct. amount he which he has already had in advance. So correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. So is there a feature to do that, like uh, automatically do that? Okay, so you are just looking that as soon as we are creating any uh sales transaction and we already having the credit available for that, that should get automatically knocked off. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yes, probably again, it is not available as default. Okay. So what as of now we are providing the option that as soon as if you already having the credit, once you will create the transition in top itself, we will show you the option that for this customer, the credit is available. But to mm -hmm. automate this in case, if you're looking for the automation, yes, we can explore the possibility with the automation option. Okay. So again, okay. for this, we can write some script that as soon as transition will get created, if any credit is available, just knock off the transition. Yes, it okay. can be done. It can be done. Okay. Yes. And that can also be done with the consumers who are ordering from the Zoho Commerce website. And then, you know, uh, so for example, let's say I use Zoho subscription. Mm -hmm. uh, through okay. Zoho subscription, I take the subscription amount from my consumer. Right. Mm -hmm. Now the same consumer is ordering through, through the Zoho Commerce portal. And mm -hmm. uh, there they choose cash on delivery or something like an option. Mm -hmm. And it get automatically reflected if the if they if their account has balance, right? So right. they don't have to pay it again. So can that that also be linked? So Zoho subscription, I think, is a different module. Uh, so which... for accounting purpose, we can do in Zoho Books. So see, uh, let it be you are using Zoho Commerce or Zoho subscription. But when we are talking about the financial transactions and all, or for accounting, it will get reflected in your Zoho Books system. But all that all I... of this can be auto automated. I I mean, like uh, as of yes, now, yes, it is yes. more manual right now. What we are doing. Right, right, right. I understand. Yes. So since the transition will get faced in Zoho Books, and accordingly that, that you know in Zoho Books we can automate this. We can automate. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. We set up a call, so I have a couple of you know things. Maybe you know one or two calls we can fix all these things, and my team can work on. It. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I believe you know that we can have a call in next week, as I told you. Yes, and we can get all your queries sorted. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you. And thank you. Yeah, I have one question, uh, Akash. Uh, and it's related to TDS on interest on loan. Mm -hmm. So, if, if we are right now booking any bill where uh, TDS applicable for the expenses, uh, let's say contract fees or professional fees, then we have option to select that interest uh, uh, against that vendor. But when we are talking about loan, from whom we have taken loan are not generally vendor to us. Right. But, but interest payable to them mm -hmm. is an expense for us. Mm -hmm. And if we are booking that expense via journal entry, we are not getting option to by default TDS. And what is happening that if we are using that workaround only from the journal entry perspective, the TDS report, TDS summary report, which we are generating from TDS summary. So we are not getting that interest amount from that particular uh, option. Uh, did you get my question? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm asking. yeah I understood. Yes. So what you are asking that we are providing the TDS deduction option only in bill, but when you are getting the loan, that is not actually your purchase. Right. You are saying that you will not record as a purchase transaction and you are passing manual journal for that. Correct. Right. But while passing the manual journal, we will have option to choose the account, but we don't have option to associate the percentage. Right. And, uh, and because of that, when I run my TDS summary report at the month end, mm -hmm. My team may uh, miss out that particular uh, interest on uh, sorry TDS on interest on loan account, and they will process all the other uh, TDS amounts, and they will forget about the 194 section of interest because it's not been selected over here. Uh, so well, I understood. So yes, as of now, what we having the solution that is a workaround. 
but again you know what i will just do i will just pass this request to our development team and we can check the feasibility if we can provide on the journal level also if the tds option percent to choose the option of tds percentage if we can provide that okay and, so and at the same time it, it must reflect in our tds uh, summary report whatever we are generating so of course so see wherever we are providing you the percentage option it will be a part of tds summary report otherwise okay. It will, be, of course, it will be a part of your balance sheet for sure. But right. since we are looking at the TDS summary for filing purpose, right? So yes, right. we will try to just uh, provide the option again. I'm not giving you any hundred percent confirmation, but again, we will have a word with our development team. We can pass that we have this requirement from our customer, and we can check the feasibility how we can build this. Yeah. Sure, sure. It would be great. Otherwise. Uh... Many times such an error uh, uh, remains that uh, otherwise it's a, it's a checklist we have to keep. Okay, please check TDS summary and then please check the balance sheet also. Whether balance sheet sheet yes, balance so balance. it would be great if you can add that particular aspect in the definitely, journal. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Akash, so, so yeah, please, subject you can. You can. So, Akash and Amit, I have one more question. So uh, generally, the payment gateways which are there with Zoho Books, like Razor Pay and others. So generally, let's say the consumer opt for a credit card or a debit card, you know, mode of payment with that, right? Now what mm -hmm. happens is they charge a uh, transaction charges on these mode of payment, and on UPI it is generally free, right? So Correct. is there a way? So let's say once I integrate this payment gateway, is there a way that I dynamically charge the amount which you know these gateway uh, pay, uh, you know are charging us to the consumer itself? Right? So we do have this option. Okay, so we are providing this option for easy way. Uh, sorry, easy pay. Okay, mm -hmm. so easy pay payment gateway that is linked with the ICICI. So there okay. we are providing the option that whatever you having the payment gateway charges, who should bear that? Whether you want to bear or you want the customer should pay so in case if you are just while doing the setup if you are giving the option for the customer so while making the payment they will have to pay invoice amount plus the payment gateway charges so it is available with you know easy pay as of now it's not available for razor pay and others and uh no yes not with the others as of now okay uh probably you know that i think that we are providing with razor pay as well in early access but again i need to confirm this and i can just confirm it but yes for sure it is available with easy pay payment gateway. So if it is available with razor pay it will help us a lot because we also have some direct links with razor pay other than mm -hmm. you know the link through zoho books zoho commerce so if yeah, yeah. I will take you about the razor pay, uh, you know, that early access part, if we can provide this. Okay. Otherwise, for sure, yes, easy pay it is available. I will update you about this point as well. Okay. Yeah, please, please. Do. Uh, just uh, one point uh, from the curious uh, curiosity perspective. If, if you can share the, what are the features you, you people are having in early access, obviously, you people can uh, activate based on the genuine requirement. Uh, just don't uh, activate anything and everything for uh, all the uh, subscribers. But if you can share something like that, that these are the things right now is available in early access. You know, sometimes it happens that we are having lot many things in our minds, and uh, based on that, then we can at least tell you that okay, Akash, uh, these are the things right now we see that if you can give early access for the same to us, it will make uh, our life easier from right now. So, so uh, is is that anything kind kind of thing uh, possible from the way that okay there's five things or ten things right now in early access for you? Yeah, yeah, I understand, Hamal. Okay, so there are multiple features and all you know that we having the multiple teams for each module best, and they are just working on the multiple features and all. Okay, so whatever it is available for sure, you know that if you having any requirement, probably what the best thing I will suggest you. That you can either drop us at an email or by call, you can communicate with our support team. If something is available in early access, okay, it can be enabled for your organization. But to share the complete list, which will be available for the customers, again, we can check whether, you know, all the list, we can share it with the customer that what are the data, I mean, what are the features and all which is available in early access. Right. At least and just as an, uh, I got your point, uh, at, at least just as an, uh, uh, okay, these are the things we are right now having early access. And so based on, I am not saying that you please activate uh, uh, on a generic way randomly, just activate if someone is uh, requesting you. 
you you just uh, analyze that okay on the uh, actual requirement you assess that okay hemal is asking genuine thing that right now we are having the same thing in early access then let's activate the same exactly. so <laughs> but if i can have a five or ten or obviously i got your point that you are saying many teams are working on the many features but such kind of compilation you know it, it, it would be great help uh, when people are exploring many things from and definitely uh, i understand sir so so there may be chances you know that uh, uh, my software is fulfilling my requirement of 90% but still for 10 some important feature which they are missing there may be chances right. that i can see for you know some alternate but why not if i am getting the option that okay whether when this feature will get available in this application itself i understand i completely agree what you are just saying uh, let me check with our, uh, with our team we can update you on this as well okay okay and akash last point uh it's i think i can say i am expecting this thing since uh, i started using zoho it's a simple thing the grouping what we are having in chart of accounts the mm-hmm. same kind of grouping pattern we want in customer vendor and items like tally or other accounting software are having the same things so that uh, the parent and child account something like that uh, Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is also available in our, you know, uh, I mean, uh, in our pipeline, we already having this request. Okay, so as you said, yes, of course, it is not available for now. There may be chances, you know, that we can, uh, what we can do to and somehow level. Okay, I can say that you can create custom field, some common custom field. But it's, can it's not helping. It's not helping on the Zoho books uh, report screen. Then we have to go for Excel. Then we have to rely on the Excel, and then we have to do not many things. You know. I, I got your right now. We are using that thing as a workaround. We are using that way. Then in items, we are using that um, brand, manufacturer, or category for the customer. Also, custom field or the vendor, we are using the same. But you also uh, know that by that particular, that by clicking on that, like how you are getting trial balance that particular chart account, chart of account size. Right, right. Similarly, we want to see a uh, grouping of our customers. That like, these are my customers. Uh, Uh, himal i'm i'm sorry i'm interjecting here i'm really sorry himal because it was a 90 minute session and it's crossed like 2 hours oh. now himal okay. let us have this conversation one to one with books because you know that this is happening at the intersection of boho books as well as zoho right. stuff right. and right. i want right. to make sure that your problems are properly addressed uh, end to end and that is my con- only uh, and i am more concerned on that so okay. uh, team for now let's call this a day because i'm sure that we have noted both the names uh, people who have reached out to us today and who have okay. asked questions today please be assured that you are here to get a response on all the questions that you've answered so let's wind this uh, bring this to a conclusion and thanks a lot for joining the session thank you tina thank, thank you, you amit and thank you everyone you people have been uh, super helpful in making this what it is today and amazing thank you amit thank you thank you everyone thank, thank you everyone thank you everyone bye akash bye 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 everyone bye bye happy weekend happy weekend everyone bye 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 bye